Okay, so I was asked a question about how to view, um, how, to, uh, how can I view kidney failure from a spiritual perspective? Okay, so um, I had uh, kidney failure at the age of 30, uh, I was in active addiction, food addiction, workaholism in the stock market, suddenly had kidney failure in the Royal Free Hospital and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, doctors were saying they, don't, they didn't know what to do to keep me alive, they were taking about 10 tubes of blood at a time. Uh, to the various departments to try and figure out what was going on. I'd lost about 70% of my kidney function in about 24 hours, so I was hurtling towards death very rapidly. Mm. And uh, as they were rushing around, um, it seemed like there was a moment of grace, a surrender happened, and I had a, um, a sublime spiritual experience of a, still, a heavenly stillness, and I actually heard a message, find a spiritual solution. I was given then, sometime later, on, a spirit, on this spiritual quest for finding the next piece of the puzzle, uh, I was discharged with 30% of my kidney function left, which slowly deteriorated, which ended me up on a dialysis machine. But I was um, given a DVD sometime later of a man named Dr. David R. Hawkins. Mm -hmm. And when I was given that DVD, I had what's called classically an in, uh, a Kundalini experience, with tingling up my spine, and this bliss as I watched this, and I knew that was the next piece in the puzzle. And I found out um, that uh, Dr. Hawkins did A uh, Course in Miracles, and that through doing that and other spiritual work, he let go of 23 illnesses, mm -hmm. and that he was running a group for people with life-threatening illnesses who were doing The Course in Miracles, and their illnesses were healing. So people healed with cancer, with AIDS, or with autoimmune diseases. And then I knew, because I'd had that spiritual experience, that even though I had kidney failure, and I had gout, and I had asthma, that I, and the kidney failure was, 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 is an awful illness, it's an awful yeah. illness. Uh, but I knew that God had given me the, the keys to freedom. Uh, and like, a, if anyone, I, I feel very sorry for anyone, but I, but the, the light was I knew that that was my only hope and I was willing to give it 100% and I 100% had faith that Hawkins had let go of 23 illnesses, other people had let go of major, major illnesses and that if I applied the work um, that you know the potentiality was there for me to release these illnesses and, uh, and you, know, I, I, you know I've had a transplant uh, and um, that's been going well now for seven or eight years, and but what happened was the way these and you know the the, the gout, I mean to let people know how powerful some of the things I did, you know the uh, the gout left with the spiritual work that I did, which I'll be sharing in a minute, and I was uh, you know they, they just the attack stopped. I was just and then I just stopped the medications, discharged from the clinic. Uh, the asthma, as I did the, the tools, which, which I, I'll share briefly in a moment. Uh, the asthma left, and I was discharged from the clinic with normal breath. And then as I did the work, the spiritual work with the kidney failure, then suddenly I got a transplant, and then that did it. And what, what, what the work... Also, I had after... Um, and here's... I think this is the great thing, because I know that the ego mind can disbelieve this stuff as being airy-fairy or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I had... Was it? I think it was 30, I have to double check, but I've, I think it was 13 medication, 13 medication after my transplant. And I did, I uh, was sharing this, you know, there's a, there's a thing you can do which is called cancelling the beliefs. You know, I did, I cancelled my belief in the adverse effects of medication, adverse side effects of medication. I mean, infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. And within two years, I think this is a great example of how, the spiritual. Within two years, I was down to one medication, a minimum amount of um, of immunosuppressant, and the uh, and the tra and, and my doctor said to me when I went down to one, my my transplant uh, uh, consultant said to me, I don't know of anyone else who takes less medication than you, you know, in, in the hospital. And on the same day, you know, the pharmacist when I went there just for my tiny little dose of even as the president said, you're going to, you know, made a joke that you're going to put us out of business because I was taking no medication, and that was the power. That was like a, that was like 
and that was like absolute proof. Mm. Even though the kidney failure, gout and asthma, all these illnesses were leaving as I was doing the spiritual work. But that for me was like ego proof. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like, you know, that you have the, le the least amount of medication of all the people in the hospital for transplant patients just by doing the spiritual work. Mm -hmm. You know, and all, these, and all the departments are discharging you for all of these illnesses. Yeah. Okay, so that's the good news. I mean, so for me, I'm like a living person, you know, I mean, uh, I was just talking to someone about kidney failure. I just remember being, I had peritoneal dialysis, all those bags, the, the lorries would come in, like this huge lorry, mm -hmm. and there'd be like this huge muscle man would come in, grabbing, the, you know, fill up a room full of boxes of this fluid, peritoneal mm -hmm. fluid, mm -hmm. which I, you know, and then and you hardly have the energy to stick all these bags of fluid on, it'd be exhausting. It was, it was pretty grim life. But then, you know, I did the spiritual work, all this stuff left. The thing is, there's two major, there's three things I do, if you got, apart from watch all my videos on YouTube, especially Cancelling the Beliefs and Feeling the Feelings, definitely watch those ones on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, uh, Cancelling the Beliefs, uh, watch the videos, like I cancel my belief in kidney failure, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, I did, and uh, still do, I cancel my, you know, and here's the thing I, I, I've been saying, I did this in another video, when you're cancelling a physical illness, what intuitively came to me is cancel the illness and cancel the top medical marker for that illness. So, I can, now the top medical marker for kidney failure is they check your creatinine levels. You know, the doctor will say, oh, well, your creatinine's here, your creatinine's there, that's the waste product associated with... Um, so I cancel my relief in kidney failure and high creatinine levels. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. You now with, with gout, the, you know, the one that they, they often mark is uric acid levels with gout. So I cancel my belief in gout and high uric acid levels. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So, and, and, and it, took me, it took me about three to five years to clear those illnesses by just doing those. Sitting with the feelings now, with kidney failure, the specific thing with kidney failure is sit down on a chair and uh, sit with your back straight. Because when you have kidney failure, you feel exhausted, like you want to lie down on the bed all the time, or you just want to drop down because you feel like you're only half dead or something. That's how I felt, like a 90-year-old corpse, basically. But uh, don't, don't do that. Just sit down and close your eyes and just allow yourself to feel the tiredness as if it's a feeling. And you just keep doing that every day for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And what you'll do is eventually, you'll, if you start to not resist the tiredness, not, not want to wish it not to be there, and just to allow that feeling to be fully experienced while you're awake, you'll be, you'll be releasing that energy of tiredness and exhaustion. Eventually what will happen is that what happened, as you cancel the belief and you sit with that tiredness, uh, you know, which is the main symptom of kidney failure, just exhaustion and run down and tired and thing, is that at a certain point you'll start to get more energy. It may take, you know, a long time, it may take months and years, but you start to get more energy and you start to cancel the belief. And when, as you start, the energy starts to come back because it's in a, even though this might sound uh, advanced, you know, I'm living proof this works. You know, just sit with that tiredness and then you get to a place where if you sit with the energy and don't try and go to sleep, keep your back straight, it, you'll start to get more energy. And over the months, you'll get more and more energy. And as you start to get this, and what will energy cancel the belief? At a certain point, it's like with all of these illnesses, as you start to release these energies, like with... Um, with kidney failure, I just sat with tiredness every day. Yeah. With, um, with gout, when I'd have a gout attack, I'd just put my foot on a pillow and feel that pain every time, sit with it and not distract. You know, so I'd sit with those gout attacks. And what would happen with the gout attacks is then they would get less frequent and less intense and I'd be able to feel them out quicker and quicker. And the attacks would get less and less and then they stop completely. With the kidney failure, you just sit with exhaustion every day for like 20 minutes, half an hour, as much as you can. The most important thing is don't go to sleep. Sit with your back straight and really try and feel it. Mm. You know, don't go to sleep on it. 
and you're just feeling that energy out and then you'll start to get more energy and you can't the belief so and then at a certain point you you get to critical mass and the universe will do something like give you a transplant or do something because you've let go of that belief and the energy of tiredness and then suddenly the, the universe comes in and gives you a miracle mm -hmm. and the illness disappears or if you sit with the gout energy don't run away and keep cancelling it at a certain point the attacks stop completely and you get discharged with asthma which is you know I had panic attacks and asthma attacks and you just you have to sit with now okay I, I have to say this before um, the medical disclaimer like this is like I'm not giving advice follow the advice of your doctor you know do take anything I'm not saying anything you just always follow the advice of your doctor but with the um, this is what I did and, and please follow the advice of your doctor but you know when I felt like breathless I would feel that breathlessness I wouldn't try and run away from the breathlessness and feel that breathlessness out and then I felt at a certain point I was discharged from the asthma clinic you see, and, and I don't need asthma inhalers anymore. So, uh, so this video will be on YouTube, and if you've got any questions, just leave a comment in the thing if you're suffering with kidney failure. I can write a reply to you on the YouTube channel if you're suffering with kidney failure or, or something. But please do follow the advice of your, of your doctors with this.